you beautiful welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Kritisha Marie I am a Midwest plus size lifestyle and beauty content creator here on YouTube you can also find me over on my Instagram so be sure to check me out there today I've got some updates we're gonna try the speed review style I can tend to talk a lot about products so we may not do this speed review we might we don't know yet we're gonna give it a shot and kind of see like what happens i've got um an array of products laid out here on my vanity so let's get into it and not waste any more time starting off with skincare uh yeah most of it's skincare there's a few hair products things like that i've been trying this i think you pronounce it naturium mixed greens nutrient rich cleanser i've been trying this as a dupe to you the youth to the people uh what is it kale and spinach i think that's what it's called if i'm not mistaken and i think it's a pretty good dupe this one is vitamin c green tea and aloe uh, i believe it does have a mix yep mix of greens vitamin c nourishment nourishing superfruits to remove dirt oil makeup and other impurities while balancing skin's ph I've really enjoyed this. At first, I wasn't a fan of the scent because it is more like green slash green tea-ish, but it does do a really good job of helping to get things off of my face. I don't use this for makeup removal. I use this as my second step. You'll see my makeup removal product here in just a moment. And I feel like my face is clean without being stripped. It is lightweight, it does suds up. I don't feel like there's anything left behind with this and my makeup removal and my two-step cleansing process. So I would recommend picking this up. It is a little bit on the pricier side, but it is not as pricey as the, um, again, Youth to the People one. I got this one at Target. I've really been enjoying using this and will continue to do so. For my makeup removal, It Cosmetics has done it with this. This is fantastic. I have really been enjoying this. This is one of the best makeup cleansers that I have come across, high in or otherwise. I love this. It's lightweight. It's not very heavy like on the skin whatsoever. I don't like products that I can feel. So that like leave, you know, a film behind or the oil or whatever the case may be. This gets off everything. I've really enjoyed this. It is a clear um, item like a clear cream item it suds up well not suds up but it does emulsify with the addition of water um, it does leave a little bit of a film on my eyes but it quickly goes away and it doesn't irritate my eyes when it does that that's a big thing for me i don't mind if there's like a little bit of the film kind of fill on there but if you irritate and my eyes are red we ain't gonna discuss we're done. The Sephora CNE Super Glow Serum was not something that I feel did anything for my skin. I typically don't do oils, but I wanted to see if this would help even out my skin tone, create a little bit of, you know, a glow, like it says that it should, um, but it didn't do any of that. I didn't feel a single difference when using this. I have almost used it up, so I did give it a good try. Like it wasn't just like a one and done kind of thing and didn't see anything. Like I, I did really use this up and it just was not worth it for me. One product that I have been using and have seen some um, improvement with is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. This is visibly evening out my skin tone. It's fighting the dullness. It's fighting the dark marks. It's creating some plumpness. And I've only been using this maybe two weeks i believe i do use it morning and night because that's per the instructions but it is really really good it's really lightweight it absorbs well it spreads well i think this bottle is going to last a while like i said i've only been using it just a couple weeks and it hasn't gotten down to um the part where you can even like see it being used in the bottle so i really really have been enjoying that for the daytime Eucerin oil control and oral absorbing minerals blah, 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 blah. 50 this has been great it's lightweight it doesn't leave a cast on my skin i can't stand a cast sometimes i don't want to wear makeup sometimes i just want to you know protect my skin go outside and i'm not trying to look like i just played around in flower i don't got time for that so this one was a really good one it was about 15 bucks i think i got it at walmart i uh, have really been enjoying this one lightweight no scent thank god for no scent like it does not have a smell to it whatsoever two thumbs up for me 
a hair care product that I've been using is this Kaleidoscope Miracle Drops Original. One of my sisters actually told me about this and I have really enjoyed this. I don't like heavy oils in my hair. I want something that's gonna absorb quickly. It doesn't have a horrific smell to it. And this is it. This is absolutely fantastic. I put it in between, you know, my braids or whatever hairstyle I'm rocking after I've washed my hair. I've even used this with um, a dry shampoo because I do use a dry shampoo between gym visits and it still works really, really well. I also picked up this lip sleeping mask from the Dollar Tree. Now hold up before you click off of this video. Just let me explain. Let me explain what's going on. This is phenomenal. This is a very, very, very good dupe to the Laneige one. It's lavender. It doesn't taste like it doesn't have that fake lavender taste to it or that fake lavender scent to it. It's really lightweight. It still provides some nourishment, some hydration. I've really been enjoying this. I was super surprised because I'm like $1.25 from some, what is this, Be Pure brand, something that I'm not too familiar with. I think I've got a, a um, what do you call it? setting powder from them maybe but that's about it uh this is fantastic this is absolutely fantastic save your money i mean if you like the Laneige one because i do too the original one and the sweet candy one are they are it but if you on a budget and you still trying to be cute and have your lips looking all juicy please check this out because i have really really been enjoying this for a body care product this dr teal's shea sugar scrub shea butter and almond oil this is giving Tree Hut a run for its money, in my opinion. This is perfectly mixed. It's not too dry, like the shea butter one that I tried. It's not too liquidy, like the Tree Hut ones. Like, this is a perfect mix. As you can tell, I'm like in there. Like, this is fantastic. It smells phenomenal. My skin smells, my skin feels smooth after. And then it's got essential oils in it, shea butter, sweet almond oil, macadamia seed, paraben free, and phthalate free drugstore dr tills don't play anyways like they're bath salts y'all already know y'all already know getting out of the shower i've been rotating between these two i can't remember if i've put these in a last video i'm so sorry if i have if i haven't cool this one is the dove body love cream oil everyday care body lotion i was looking for a replacement for the yavino cream oil because they stopped making that one and that one was my favorite it was super lightweight smell nice like it wasn't too heavy it wasn't too perfumed like this is a great dupe for that like this has replaced that because obviously now i can't find that anywhere but this offers the exact same thing lightweight gentle smell provides hydration has that oil feel but not heavy so it doesn't affect when you put on your clothes like nobody likes that feeling you know this is absolutely beautiful and this is just their like regular scent it, it doesn't have a smell to it when I am feeling a little bit more fancy, I go in with this Tropic Glow Firming Whipped Shea Body Butter from Tree Hut. This has a little bit of glow reflection properties in it. And it's just, it's a nice, thick, sexy, even, like when I put this on, yes, yes. All of the things, like my skin feels smooth. I love that I can see a little bit of a shimmer on there, like like a bronze kind of look, but it's not a bronzer, you know what I mean? Like it just, pre it just creates like that. My skin is on fleek kind of look. Do people say fleek anymore? I don't even know. But if they do, that's what this does. It's worth it. Moving into makeup, we're just going to kind of grab and go. There's no particular order. I've got it laid out, but it's just, it is going to go the way that it goes. I have been retrying, let's grab the right item here, the Fenty Beauty Soft Matte Foundation. The only way that I can make this work is with this Forsali liquid powder. I've had this in my collection forever. It is no longer available. Like they have discontinued it. I've tried this with two other primers, um, didn't like it, broke apart on me. Like I just, it's not, it's a no for me. Like I cannot seem to get this to work. I, mm -mm, no, it's a no for me. I've also been using it with this concealer. The concealer is hit and miss because it says that it's crease proof, but if you've got fine under eye lines, 
it's going to crease. Like your makeup is going to go, at least on me and most people that I know, it's going to form in the fashion of my body and of my skin. So it has creased. It goes on really, really nice. It stays on really, really nice, but it is not crease proof. Like that claim is something that they really need to throw out the window. But it's lovely. It's lightweight. I don't feel it underneath my eyes. I don't smell it. Cause you know, some things have a scent in there and they will burn the heck out of your eyes with that scent. I don't smell it. It doesn't burn, none of those things. So I'm gonna continue using this. I really have really enjoyed that. The Rare Beauty Mascara. First, I wasn't sure about this. I was like, mm, this is just like another type of mascara. I'm wearing it today and I actually really like this. I haven't had any issues with smudging, flaking. It's even a little bit more sturdy when I go and take it off with my makeup remover than other non-waterproof mascaras. It provides some thickness. So it's an old school style brush and those are my favorite. I do just like a good old, old school brush. I don't need it to do anything fancy. I don't care if it's got a body curve to it. Like I, none of that's important to me. This just, it does what it's supposed to do. And I absolutely love that. And then I've also been wearing this LA Girl Dream Glitter Iridescent Liquid Eyeshadow. This is so pretty. Oh my gosh. It's super, super pigmented. Like a little bit goes a long way. Um, you can see it, you know, like it just, it's so pretty. And I think it was like five dollars you know five high dollars you put your bronzer on put this through the crease you got a whole look like that's it nothing else for the brows been trying this juvia's place what is this eye sculpt eye shade brow pin this performs high end in my opinion now this is the first brow pin i've had in my collection so i don't know how the other ones perform but i would expect them to perform like this this goes on pigmented do not go in with a heavy hand you will look like you got sharpie eyebrows in like two seconds. I've done it. I'm telling you, I speak from experience. If I do get too much, I can blend it out with the spoolie end of my eyeshadow or eye, eyebrow pencil. There we go. And it'll just blend in really, really well. So I've really been enjoying this one. This is definitely one to check out. For lips, I've been rotating between three products. I've got two for Minted, one from Rare Beauty. This is one of the new Rare Beauty lipsticks in the shade, I believe it's Fun, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Fun. And it is so creamy. It's lightweight on the lips. It's a beautiful color for me. Like I can wear it with a brown liner and it will work. And then these two are from Minted. One of them's Peach Please. One of them is Pretty and Pink, formulated for people of color skin tones. These are also really creamy. These ones are a little less creamy than the Rare Beauty one, but still just as beautiful. I'm wearing both of them today and I top them with a little bit of a gloss because you know it's summer out here. That's what we do. For eye products in regards to liners, LA Colors, no, LA Girl, they did it with this. This is my third one I also have a brown one and then I have a teal one and I have just I, I've fallen in love with these like these are phenomenal they stay in place very well on my oily eyelids like oh my word makeup forever came out with a liquid liner you twist off the top the uh, marker is right here you dip it in you know old school pen style this you can pass on it goes on really well, but it does wear off by the end of the day. Like it's not nearly as black. It's not nearly as visible. It takes a minute for it to dry down. So if you've got hooded eyes like I do, you have to sit still for a second for it to actually dry down. And I never got time for that. I picked up another eyeliner. This is from Romantic Beauty. This was from a hair care place that I tried um, in Chicago. And I've enjoyed it. It is much more thick. It's almost a little dried out, it feels like. But it does go on well the the color payoff is definitely there so it's something that if i find another one like that i would pick up another one the elf putty bronzer this can be a little challenging for me um i don't know that i've still found a correct way to put it on yet i've tried a brush i've tried uh well i've tried two different brushes i don't think i've tried a sponge yet but i have to be careful with it because it is deeper than i typically prefer and it can look a little muddy 
um, but it is lightweight a little bit does go a long way i'm not wearing this one today i'm actually wearing this one here by minted it's got a little bit of a light reflection deal in there i don't want to say shimmer because shimmer is not the right word oh my word i can't even get this open there we go but it's got it's got something in there i'm not quite sure if you can see that but it's got a little something in there and i really enjoy this one this is in the shade lot yacht life i love this this is so nice i'm really sad that it took me so long to try it it blends out beautifully as you can tell it looks natural doesn't look too heavy on the skin whatsoever it's just it's a really really good one uh the elf one is cream the minted one is powder um but they both work well just i still Think i need to play around with this one just a little bit longer let me know your thoughts because those that's been out for a good hot minute so let me know your thoughts down below about how you apply it what you think about it all of those good things one size uh came out with a three-piece set the one item that i like out of it is this the setting powder it's phenomenal i also went and bought a separate one in the translucent medium deep shade and it's a perfect match for my skin tone this is giving Laura a run for her money. Now I know she just like reformulated hers to be like talc free and hopefully that'd be fantastic. The original one's really good too, but this one right here, honey, if you don't know, now you know, you need to go and pick it up. The primer though, you can go ahead and leave that on the shelf because this is not it. I didn't feel like it had any tackiness to be able to grip onto the makeup like it says it should. Um, it doesn't provide any blurring. I have visible pores and it's more silicone-y i feel than i typically like so this one is not one i haven't touched this in a good hot minute i don't even know if i'm going to be able to finish this because it was just it was all bad also there is a spray that came in the three-piece set 80s hairspray i can't do it i'm not going to do it i've trashed it like it's gone it's gone tatcha silk canvas the liquid silk canvas one this one's actually pretty good i've enjoyed it it's lightweight it does have a little bit of a scent to it comes with some um skincare properties you know will aid in that because it's a korean skincare brand and so it does more so range on skincare than makeup but this is an item that can double as both and so i have been using this and i've enjoyed it I, I've noticed a difference on my makeup. It's not super glowy. I don't like glowy products. Uh, this one's oil free. So it, it's a good, good primer. To set things, the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Yes, I'm late, better late than never. I couldn't decide whether or not I want to try it. Sometimes I wanted to, sometimes I didn't. So I just, I was like, I'm gonna get a mini. We're gonna try it and see what happens. This is okay this is all right it's not a, a big deal to me like i'll use this up i don't know that this is one that i'll be repurchasing because i didn't notice a lot of difference in my makeup i noticed more of a difference with like the all nighter and the um lonnie make it last like those ones i'm like yes those need to stay in my collection this one mm, hit or miss take it or leave it i've picked up some blushes the first one i'm probably going to butcher this name just let's say beauty it's um hispanic this is like a cream blush but it's almost like cream to powder almost because it just it feels more powdery here and then it goes on kind of like creamy it's it's kind of weird but it blends out beautifully it's lightweight it's pigmented but it's not scary to the point where if you mess it up like that's it you know what i mean like you go in too hard you're done you gotta wipe off your whole face not at all it's a beautiful color i got vacation and i have really enjoyed this like the color makes me happy the the style just makes me happy like i just i really really like this i also got my hands on one of the benefit butterfly this is a golden orange blush. I've used this as a topper, I've used this as a highlight, and I've used it by itself. And all three ways, I've really enjoyed it. It's pigmented, it's it's beautiful. Like, it is really beautiful. I was really nervous because I don't typically do things that have a glow. I got my own glow, like I have no highlight on right now, and you can still see like my normal oils coming through. And uh, just, I've enjoyed this how many times am i going to say that in this video there's no other way like it's 
absolutely beautiful. So if you are a deeper skin tone, please pick up the shade. This again is Butterfly in Golden Orange. Gorgeous. And then my last blush is this Morphe one. This is a cream blush in Audacious Apricot. This is also really, really pretty. I am wearing this one today, so you can kind of see it. It doesn't really have like a glow to it. It's more of a matte product, but it blends out beautifully. It's lightweight. I love the color. It's definitely a good summer color. It shows up on my deeper skin tone. Yeah, Morphe did a good job. I haven't been that enthused or excited about a Morphe product in a really long time. When I picked that up, I also picked up this eyeshadow palette, which is what I'm wearing today as well. Blends out beautifully. It's pigmented. It, The shimmers are gorgeous. Like you can go in really light or you can build them up. Either way, like they just are so creamy. It just is fantastic. Like this one, I'm really glad that I picked this one up. I'm also really glad that I picked up the minted one. It's a good everyday eyeshadow palette. Beautiful neutrals for skin tones. Like this is, I do wear this like as my everyday look because it just is exactly what I need. They're not too red. This one's really red, but if I'm wanting that kind of look, then I definitely have that as an option. Otherwise, they're not too warm. They're not too neutral. In my opinion, they are a little bit on the warmer side, but it's not too warm where I don't feel like I could wear, you know, silver earrings or like a cooler top or you know what I mean? So these ones blend out really beautifully. There is a little bit of kickback in the pan, but not a lot, not a lot at all. So this one is one that I'm really, really glad that I picked up as well for a color for palette. Honey, if you have not gotten this one, where you been? What you doing? What do you want my name? Like they need to be calling you to tell you to get this palette. This is it. This is it. Summertime. This is it. I have worn this so much, so much. And I do not regret any time that I wear this. Like any time that I wear this. I love how the looks come out. I love how pigmented it is. It doesn't have a lot of fallout. Like this is what I do. This is the standard right here. Juvia's Place knocked it out of the park with this product and the last product that i picked up is this fine feathered palette by ColourPop. this one's okay i've played in it a couple of times not nearly as much as the other ones um but i feel like i might like this more in the fall time than i do right now right now i'm definitely going for more colors i want a little bit more punch i want you know the nice peach colors things like that and this would probably be good in the fall time so i'll probably dip into this in about another month or so more than i am now uh, but it is really pigmented there is some fallout as you can tell like it's kind of messy here in this corner but it's still a really really pretty palette just i think it's out of season right now for my own personal preference so that's going to be everything in today's video let me know your thoughts down below if there's anything that you know this video may have made you excited to pick up or something that was on your list and you were like you know what i'm gonna go ahead and halt the brakes on that i'd love to hear that down below i love you guys may god continue to bless you and i will see you next time